Hello guys, this is Kudo, and today in this video I will show you how you can add new font in using TextMesh Pro and how you can handle non-character Latin alphabet from other languages such as Japanese or Russian alphabet. So let's get into it. So first thing we need to do, we need to download a new asset. So I will put a link in the description where you can basically download a lot of font. Uh, so it's called uh, Font Google, so very easy. So for my part, I will use the KC uh, Aruno Humi. So very easy, you just click on it and you got the download family. So let's download the family. And um, after download it, I can open it, okay, like this. And um, what we need to do, uh, I already create a folder named font because I like when everything is uh, classified and I can find myself. So let's open the font folder and let's drag and drop the um, font we just download. To make sure this tutorial is working, make sure to download the package manager of TextMesh Pro. To do that, just go on Windows, uh, package manager and make sure when you type text mesh pro so text mesh pro text mesh pro is already um, installed all right uh, now what we need to do we just create so let's create a ui so let's create a text mesh pro ui something very easy let's set up our canvas so screen space overlay let's scale with screen size like 9 10 920 by uh, 1080 okay Let's center everything like this, this, and let's put this one maybe at uh, 60. And uh, let's put 500 by 500. That will be very uh, nice. Uh, okay, everything is center. Yep, everything is center. Okay, and as you can see right now, when I use this kind of uh, font so we use a uh, liberation sans um, sdf and right now if i want to change the this font if i click on it i don't have the new font i just downloaded it i mean kc uh, um, aruno humi all right as you can see we just use uh, uh, the font is here but i cannot access it from the text mesh pro why because we need to create the font from uh, for the text mesh pro can handle it so how we can do that we just uh, need to go on windows and go on text mesh pro and just click on font asset creator so right now i click on it and it will ask you what font we want to use so basically you can drag and drop it or you just click on this um, arrow and you can use uh, the font you just downloaded so for my part i will use the regular one okay and something very easy don't use custom character right now i will just use unicode wrench x okay and just generate the font atlas when everything is generated just saved it and it will ask you when you want to save it. Basically, I al always save this SDF character for handling the text mesh pro where I put the font, the basic font. So just save this in the same folder. You can close this window. And right now, if I head back to the text, right now, if I click on the font asset, as you can see, we can use the Kase uh, Harunomi regular. And when I uh, when, when I choose it, as you can see, the font is changing. So I can change the color. So let's put red. That was very nice. Okay. And right now, you know how you can create a new font for the text mesh pro. But right now, what if I want to maybe not use Latin um, character, maybe an alphabet from Asia, like Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, or maybe from Russia or Ukraine, or maybe from Brazil, or maybe for German, and uh, some special letter, how we can handle that. So right now, if I head back to uh, Google right now, let's open a new uh, thing, a new window, and let's use Google Translation. Translation, okay. And let's put some basic te uh, text. So let's put this 
is a test, all right? We are not using French because that is Latin, uh, Latin uh, character, but let's use maybe, for example, Japanese. All right? So when I write this is a test in English, Japanese languages um, give me that. So let's copy paste this. So let's copy and paste this. And right now, as you can see, when I paste this Japanese character in the text mesh pro, some square is um, appearing. So how can I solve that? This is very easy. Let's uh, head back to our generated um, text mesh pro font. So this one. And right now, if I select it, in the inspector, I got, an, um, I got a button called Update Atlas Texture. So just click on it. And right now, remember, for generated the Atlas, we use Unicode Range X. But right now, what we want to use is a custom character. And with the custom character, you can add many characters you want. For this example, I will not use the old alphabetic Russian, uh, Vietnamese, Japanese, or whatever you want to use. I just want to copy paste uh, the character I just use right now. So basically, this character. When you copy paste this character, just click on gener generate from Atlas. And as you can see, the Atlas is generated. Make sure to save this. And right now, as you can see, I think you guessed it. I close this window and right now I generated the Atlas for the um, Japanese character. And as you can see, even if I add a new, another, maybe another sentence like this is a test, it still handle this. So before I let you go, Make sure when you download the font, so if I head back to Safari, in the font right now, uh, if I head back here, as you, uh, as you can see here, you can type something. So if you type maybe, if I paste what I just paste with Japanese, so like this, as you can see, not all the font is support Japanese languages. So make sure the font you download is support the language you are using. Before, because if it's not, that will not work. So that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I catch you in the next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. So if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys next time.